Hey guys, my name is Jamie or Cornelius the cat, meow meow. Today I just wanted to do a short uh, yoga video focusing on your core, uh, lower back, and a little bit of full body, but mostly core and uh, lower back and glutes. So today we're gonna go ahead and get started. If you're new here, be sure to follow the channel. I have an ASMR channel, which is Cornelius the cat. ASMR. But here on this channel, which you should definitely subscribe to, I do try-ons, bikini try-ons, uh, cooking, some yoga. It's a little bit more and vlog, a little bit more uh, lifestyle. So definitely subscribe here and check out my other links below. Uh, but thanks for being here. Let's get into the, let's get right into the yoga, okay? So we're going to start off into something that's going to go ahead and just like stretch out your whole lower back and arms and it's child's pose so go ahead and put your fingers your feet to touch and your knees out wide and stretch your arms out and go ahead and just take a couple deep breaths okay like one um about three deep inhales and exhales I'm gonna go ahead and start waking up our body a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and start again in a tabletop. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and engage your core, suck in your belly button to your spine. <clears throat> so at this tabletop, we're gonna go ahead and warm up a little bit more with some cat cows. So inhale, drop your belly, lift your butt, stretch it out, and lower your gaze just right in front of you but still keeping like an up dog. Exhale, cat. So concave your spine, push up into your shoulders, create space. And then just kind of do that at your own pace for about three or so breaths. Okay. Uh, upward, cow face, and then cat. And now we want to add some like nice movement. You know how your hips feel if they're kind of creaky on one side. Definitely get some movement on that side. Do little hip circles. You can lower one arm. That always kind of pops my back a little bit sometimes. Ooh, I don't know if you can hear that. Oh, just giving some natural movement in. Then we're going to go ahead and stretch out our hands a little bit. So. Our hands are faced this way. Let's go ahead and reverse it if you can. If you can, maybe only do one hand at a time. Sometimes this is a little bit new of a stretch, so it can be a little bit sore. Okay, and then you can do the other one. And if you want to try, do both. Just see if you can have like a, I know it's kind of awkward, but a little bit of bend in your elbow. And then bring it back. You can do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. All right, so now we're a little bit warmed up. We're gonna get into our shoulders. So we're gonna go ahead and stretch your right arm up high, open up your wings, do little hand circles, and then go ahead and tuck that shoulder right underneath, laying your cheek on the mat with this hand supporting you. This is uh, thread the needle. So it's thread the needle pose. Go ahead, you can walk back and forth. Take a good breath or two. And then go ahead and lift up, open your wings, and then place your hand back down. Now we're gonna go ahead and do it on the opposite side, left hand side, reach your arm up, do some hand circles, wrist circles. And then uh, thread the needle, you're on the mat, this hand to support, and just breathe into your shoulder. Okay, so we're gonna go back into a child's pose real quick, give us 
little break on our knees. If you need to, don't feel free to, um, feel free to put a towel on your knees if you need extra cushion. But it should be, it shouldn't be too, too, too bad. So a quick child's pose, rock back and forth. And then we're gonna go back up into a tabletop. In the tabletop, we're gonna go ahead and do some bird dog. And this is really good for your core and your lower back and your overall um, balance. So go ahead and lift your right arm straight and then your left foot back. And try to keep it pretty uh, straight. Engage your core, suck it in, tuck your uh, tailbone a little bit. And then go ahead and do little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we're gonna suck it in. We're gonna do elbow to knee, extend, and then break, okay? We're gonna do the opposite side. Left arm, art, left arm out, right foot back. My couch is a little bit in the way, there we go. Okay. We're gonna do pulses. One, two, three, four. Engage your core. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna bring knee to elbow, curl in, stretch out, rest. Whew. So that should be a nice little work. <coughs> Now we're going to come to our knees, okay, and we're going to bring our calves out, I'm going to show you, and this is good for your knees, see if you can do a nice little stretch back, you want to bring your calves out, do a little bit of stretch up if you can. This is just good. If this, even just sitting like this, which is really good for your knees in general, okay? And if you can, which you'll know how flexible you are, eventually go down all the way. One arm, by, one arm at a time and stretch out. This is good for your, your whole back, your knees, everything, arms. <clears throat> Once we have that little knee stretch, whoop, bring that up. We're gonna do some core work. Core work, okay? So this is gonna be good for our tummy, our back, all of that. Go ahead and lay down. You wanna bring your knees to a um, 90 degree. Uh, engage your foot, feet, so make sure that they are, engage your feet, <laughs> engage your feet. Okay, bring your arms out wide, and each time we're gonna lower one foot and bring it up. Lower one foot, bring it up. Lower two feet, hover, bring it up. And you're engaging your core, sucking in your belly button the whole time. Okay, we're gonna do this 10 times. And you can go ahead and lift up a little bit if you want to. Lower, bring in, lower the other one, bring in. Both together, lift, 90. Okay, we have, this is our third one. Left, engage your core together. 90. Right, left, together. 90. Okay? Engage your core. Right, left, together. Hover. 90. Bring it together. Okay? Engage your core. Want your back on the mat. And that was our fifth one. We have five more. Right, Left, together, okay? Right, left, 
together. I'm starting to get hot. Right, left, engage your core, together. Oof. Right, left, together. Oof. Right, left, together. I think we have one more, hopefully. 90. Right, should be 10. Left, together. Oof. Okay, take a quick break. You can roll out your lower back if you need to. And you can go ahead and do three sets of those as well. But that is a huge core workout, so just keep that in mind. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit more core, okay? But we're just gonna do the 90 degree angle. We're gonna just do little crunches, okay? We're gonna pulse for 10. 10, nine, Eight, arms out wide, seven, six, get your core, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now lift your legs up all the way and then do touch your toes. Look like you're gonna touch your toes. Okay, ready? One, two, you can go side to side, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Whew. Okay. So now we're gonna go rock back and forth. We're gonna do some more lower back core workout, some glutes as well. So go ahead and bring your feet flat to the mat, almost as close to your glutes as you can. Go ahead and put your um, arms out straight. We're gonna lift into bridge pose. This is gonna really stretch out our belly too, which is gonna feel nice after core as well. So go ahead and push into your feet. Uh, tuck into your glutes. Okay. We're going to hold. Three, two, one. Lower slowly. Lower back first. Then bum on the mat. Okay. And we're going to lift. One, two, three, engage your core. Lower back first on the mat. Then your bum, relax. Okay, then we're gonna engage. Three, two, one. Hold, lower back, and then bum. Okay, you ready? We're gonna engage, we're gonna do it two more times. Hold, three, two, one. Lower down. One more time. Engage. Three, two, one. And on this one, we're gonna pulse down. I'm not gonna touch the ground though. And then pulse up, pulse down, don't touch the ground. Pulse up, down, pulse up. Now higher pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly lower down. Whew. Nice stretch out. We're gonna get into some happy baby. You can start off with one leg. Walk back and forth. Make sure your lower back is on the ground. Then do the second leg. Keeping your lower back on the ground, just rock back and forth. This is like a nice little massage for your back, as well as it's stretching out your lower back and your hamstrings. Rock back and forth. If you want, you can try to stretch out one leg long and then the other. Okay. We're going to do one last stretch. <clears throat> this is really good for your lower back. So go ahead and shoot your left leg out long and bring your right knee into your chest. Go ahead and get both hands and just pull. And try to keep your other leg as close to the mat as possible. This is a nice stretch and it's good for your lower back and everything, okay? and we're just stretching, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and draw this knee and roll over, keeping this uh, shoulder on the mat and just letting gravity stretch out all this side and lower back. If you'd like, you can go ahead and put your hand right here, but make sure that gravity is doing the work. And go ahead and look the opposite direction and just breathe.
come down. So we're gonna bring our other foot in. You can stay in that position as long as possible if you'd like, but we're gonna go ahead and just neutral out our spine, neutralize it, and do the opposite leg. So right leg long, stretch onto the mat. We're gonna hold this and hug it into our shoulder. Nice stretch in there. Breathe, and then we're gonna go ahead and turn it over. Shoulder on the mat, left shoulder on the mat, looking opposite direction. Just letting gravity do the work. Any, you'll feel like a good stretch in your lower back, your mid back, maybe also your hip. Be a nice stretch. Just breathe. And then we're gonna go ahead and tuck into a little ball. And that's our quick little practice for the day. If you're still having some lower back issues, uh, you can always do this while you're in bed. Basically just like a forward fold, but instead bring your knees in and just kind of hug yourself like this and pull in. And this is the best way to really get, one of the best ways to really get a nice little stretch in there. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you enjoyed the yoga for today. It was a nice, uh, good stretch, a good focus on just like our core, our glutes, a little whole body stretch as well. Uh, just getting everything moving and motion always helps, uh, goes a long way. A little motion goes a long way. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe below. If you'd like more yoga videos, make sure to leave a comment as well. And check out the other links on my Instagram, my Twitter, and I'm live on Twitch and Kick as well. So check those out. Uh, thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, all good, positive vibes sent your way. Namaste. And I'll see you guys soon.